Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to update you guys on my portfolio. So right now my portfolio is at $50,641.60. Today I'm up $4,384.98. That's a 9.48% gain. The thing is, my spreads go up and down so much over time that like, it's going to be making huge moves every day in the short run. But as we get closer to the expiration date, that's when we'll find the true value of my spreads right now it's still the same as before I haven't done anything new I got the Alibaba 187.5 195 call debit spread expiring on the 11th another Alibaba spread 197.5 $200 call debit spread um, PSTH 22 23 dollar call debit spread expiring on the 11th Alibaba, $180, $200 call debit spread expiring on the 25th. So I have a bunch expiring this month, mostly Alibaba. And it is above 200 so things are going well so far. And later in the year, in November 19th, I got an Alibaba, $195, $200 call debit spread. FTCV, $7.5, $10 call debit spread expiring in November 19th. December 17th, I got this IPOF, $7.5, $10 call debit spread. In 2023, expiring 2023, I got this Bumble, $30, $35 call debit spread. This is a very good, um, successful play. It's been doing, going well so far. Bumble's been going up lately, especially in the past week. And lastly, PSTH, $15, $25 call debit spread, expiring in 2023. This has been going well too. But the thing is I might get out of PSTH, not because I don't believe in it anymore, but because I I said I was watching some things and I might get out of the spreads that I'm in, some of them anyways, and put that money towards something else. But yeah, today was a pretty good day. As you can see, most of the underlying stocks that I'm investing in went up today, which is good. The only thing that went down was IPOF, which is only down 0.1%, so that's that's fine with me. Alibaba is pretty important because I have a lot of spreads in Alibaba, but right now it is above 200. That's it's at 219. So that's pretty good. Bumble's also another big one. Right now it's at 48 and I needed to stay above what's the 32. So I need Bumble to stay above 32, and right now it's at 48, so I'm happy with that. Now, the thing that I do want to uh, put my money towards, if I, if the situation is right, right? One of them is GME. I said that if, if it gets to 300, then I'll make a play on this. Unfortunately, today it didn't hit 300. I think it hit like 294 or something like that. I believe it hit 294. Yeah, high today, 294. So it didn't hit 300. So I haven't made a play on it yet. And I don't even have money on the side. So I would need to get out of some of my current positions first before I make a play on this. And of course, another one is AMC. Pretty popular one. This one I'm iffy about. I'm thinking at least 100 before I do anything. Right now it's at 68. Yeah, if it goes above 100, that's when I think I'll make a play on this. But for now, 68, it could go either way. <laughs> so I, I don't know where exactly this is going. Um, but I, I'm staying on the sidelines for AMC for now. But if it does go above 100, that's when I'll step in and make a put debit spread on AMC. And for GME, like I already said, the number for me is 300. If GME reaches 300, that's when I'll do a put debit spread on that. But yeah, they haven't hit those numbers yet, so I'm just still in the spreads that I was doing before. And it's going pretty well. I'm staying above 50k uh, so far, so I feel like my, rec my portfolio has recovered pretty well. I'm very happy about that. Let's hope it keeps on going up throughout the year. But yeah, pretty boring. Nothing new and exciting <laughs> that I'm doing. Uh, I'm pretty sure people who are investing in, you know, the meme stocks like AMC and GME, they probably have 
more exciting stories to tell. But me, I'm just I'm just happy with my spreads, making slow gains over time. And once we get to the end of the year, that's when we'll see some more action. That's when we'll see the bigger moves. Because a lot of my spreads expire um, this month and towards the end of the year. But yeah. That's it for my portfolio update. Like I said, nothing new and exciting. It's just the same stuff as before. And I'll let you guys know if everything goes well or not. Alright? Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.